So if you're going to set up some smart bulbs in your home, you want to make sure you choose wisely. Like I said, when you're choosing your smart bulb, you need to choose wisely. Now, one of the most popular ones on the market is the Philips Hue. There's some from LifeX, TP-Link, and there's a whole bunch of different smart bulbs out there. But one thing you want to think about when you get smart bulbs is the backup system. I call it my redundant system. Now these smart bulbs run off hubs and some of them run off Wi-Fi. But even if the bulbs are directly connected to the hub, the hub itself requires internet. Now the bulbs I chose to go with are made by Philips Hue. And those bulbs are connected to the hub that's also made by Philips. Now whether you decide to go with hub connected bulbs or Wi-Fi bulbs, there's three things I want you to pay attention to as far as the specs of the bulbs. So here are three things in the smart bulb that I need to have before I make that purchase. Number one, the color temperature should be at a wide range. Usually it starts off at 2700 Kelvin and go all the way up to 6500 Kelvin. Now it could be in a range of 6000 Kelvin or maybe 5000 Kelvin, but nothing lower than that because the higher the Kelvin, the brighter the bulb is. And sometimes I want to have that flexibility to dim it all the way down and able to make it look as bright as daylight. Now, if it's not a 6500K, then I try not to go anything lower than 5000K. Number two, the luminous. The luminous is going to tell you how bright that LED bulb is going to get. So with that being said, the higher the number, the brighter the bulb is going to get. So I personally start off in a range of about 800 luminous because I can always dim the bulb down if it's too bright, but I cannot make it any brighter than it is if the maximum luminous is say about maybe three or 400. And last but not least, this one is the most important one on my list. The smart bulb must have some other way to control it besides using my voice and the app. Because if the internet ever goes down, your voice and the app is useless. So I always make sure the bulbs of my choosing always have some type of remote to control it if the Wi-Fi goes down. Now, if you never purchased smart bulb before, I wanna let you know it's an expensive venture, especially if you go with the Philips U. Now, there are alternatives out there. It's just hard to find them that has the remote capability. Here's one that I found from Nova Stella that also has remote capability. This one connects using Wi-Fi so it doesn't need a hub and you can also use your voice assistant when you got Google or Amazon to control these bulbs. Now the price on these bulbs right now is about $22 on Amazon. They're usually $49.99 which is the price of one Philip U bulb. So there's a good deal on them right now. I can't say that's gonna be the same when you finally see this video, but even at $49.99, you're still getting two bulbs versus one Philip U at that price. Plus you get not one, but two remote that comes in the box. While with the Philips, you gotta buy this remote separately. Okay, so let's open this box and see what's on the inside. There's bulb number one, wrapped in some nice paper to protect it. Bulb number two, also wrapped in paper. Well, it's kind of like a little plastic bag kind of deal, not real paper. And then, in the rest of the box, we got the little guide on how to set it up. We got remote number one, and we got remote number two. So there you have it. You get two remotes, two bulbs, and the guy that came in the box. Now, while I was checking out the specs on these bulbs, I come to find out that one remote can control both of these bulbs. So I don't need to use one remote for one bulb and the other remote for the other bulb. I can just set it up to have both of the bulbs controlled by one remote which is great. So with these bulbs, you have the flexibility of controlling the bulbs with your voice using the app or the remote, which like I say, is one of my key requirements when choosing smart bulbs. All right, so there you have it. That's gonna be it for this video. If you're looking for some smart bulbs, like I said, look for those three key things. You wanna make sure you check the Kelvin. Make sure you have a wide range to choose from. And then you wanna make sure you have enough luminous. That has to play with how bright the bulb is gonna get. And that's your choice. Just remember the higher the number, the brighter the bulb, the lower the number, that's how dim the bulb is gonna be. And finally, make sure you get one that has a remote control as a backup. That way you can easily control the bulb when your internet goes down. All right, so I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.